I cannot overstate how miserable the first six or nine months of the company was for her personally. She knew no one in uh, Columbus, Ohio, where we founded it. Um, she's, you know, 22 years old. At nine months, she calls me up, sits down to have coffee, and the only thing she says through this entire hour, she, through tears, says, I'm not gonna quit, period. Um, that's Angie. If you think about her story, she created Angie's List. She was the person on the phone actually giving the recommendations. And then to drive that 22 years forward. I mean, literally, you know, from the absolute ground up, the hard way. I've gotten to work with Angie since, you know, she wasn't a household name. Um, and one of the things that I admire about her is that she's still the same person today as she was um, back then. And I think that's part of the reason why Angie's List has been successful is that she's relatable. She's relatable to people when, when she's up there talking. And she has no airs about her, which is what I love about her, is that she's very human. She's just delightful, uh, easy to work with. On a human scale, she's a, a very genuine, very warm person, um, very sincere. She's always been able to lead, even as a 22-year-old. She's always just had that confidence and people have been able to follow her. So I would say Angie is a quiet leader. She leads by supporting others. She doesn't want to be the center of attention. She wants to let others kind of take the credit for ideas that are being created by the team. Uh, never in her life do I think she craved being on an international stage. Um, but the job required it, and so she did it. When she believes in something, she is passionate about it, and it shows, and it, it spreads to all of us, because if Angie has passion, then it must be important to her, and it must be important to everyone. She really looks to give people opportunities um, to uh, try new things and to sometimes um, struggle with those and, and to always be there for uh, those who, who she mentors along the way. And, you know, as a woman in business, it's great to have mentors who you can look up to, who are approachable and personable. Um, and I think that that's a, a great asset that she brings. Angie, from all of the women in Indianapolis and beyond, thank you for all of your efforts in leadership. Angie, I want to thank you for taking uh, the risk with me 11 years ago and giving me the opportunity to work for you and with you. Um, I wouldn't be where I am in my career today without you. Angie, thank you for choosing me to be in the Orr Fellowship t uh, 11 years ago and then kind of guiding me along the way, being that amazing female mentor to me. Thank you for your friendship. That's the most important thing. Angie, congratulations. Uh, this is well-deserved.